Showtime, chamaco. I had long been interested in the Mexican celebration of Dia de Muertos. We began a bunch of research and learned a lot more about the celebration. We traveled down to Mexico on several trips uh, to get to know the country and the people. We went to Mexico City, we went to Morelio and Michoacan and Pazcuaro. And the most important thing were the families and the people. They shared their celebration with us of Dia de Muertos and they fed us and included us. Have some more. No gracias. <laughs> See? <laughs> That's what I thought you said. There's so much that I learned about, you know, the different styles of Mexican music and the wide variety of, of ensembles and, and traditional tunes and all of these things really kind of helped to give Coco a really unique sound, a really unique feeling that is rooted in something real. I'm gonna be a musician! From the moment that I first pitched the idea that became Coco, it was imperative to me that we make a film that was as authentic as possible and as respectful as possible and free of cliches and stereotypes. And we worked really, really hard every single day of the six years we spent making the film to try to do that. I, I found myself you know, calling my parents every weekend and asking about family stories. They make their way into the film and hopefully when you watch it, you feel that reality, you feel that love, and, and it affects you. Coco has a bigger scope than I think just about any movie that we've made so far. So it was more a, a, an issue of like how to, how to put this big, big movie, this big adventure up on screen. We had to create this whole land of the dead with, you know, millions of light sources and, you know, thousands of buildings and, you know, tens of thousands of skeleton characters. Not bad for a dead guy. The world of the living had more kind of one-to-one -one reference to draw from. And, you know, a lot of Miguel's town of Santa Cecilia is inspired by real places, real homes. We had a lot of photo reference and, and people that we met that we could rely on in terms of creating that place. Hola, Miguel. Hola. I think it was the land of the dead that took more invention, frees you up in a way that, that lets you play around and, and be very imaginative. So they're, they're different takes on, on the creation of a world. When Miguel is first coming up over the bridge and you see the entire land of the dead for the first time, when we first rendered images of that scene, there was applause and audible gasps and... Because I think we almost broke Pixar. I think we broke Pixar. Pixar. I think we did break Pixar. What? what? Working on this film, I was very excited to be able to be a part of it because it was an opportunity to connect with my Mexican heritage and to, to create a story that represents faithfully what I experienced growing up. Abuelita uh, used to have a spoon that she kept in her pocket in her apron right here. And whenever she would like want to whack something or whatever, she would use the spoon to, to whack it. But we're like, no, 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 no. If, if she's a Mexican abuelita, she's going for the chancla. You leave my grandson alone. Doña, please. I was just getting a shine. I know your tricks, mariachi. What did he say to you? He was just showing me his guitar. <gasps> Shame on you. I don't know why this is, but everyone could relate to that. For me, it brings me a lot of pride that we've got a main character that represents, you know, a huge segment of the population that maybe don't see themselves on screen and don't see themselves as a protagonist. Why have you come here? I'm Miguel, your, your great-great-grandson. I have a great-great-grandson? Why not look at this kid and think that's someone to aspire to, that's someone who, who is really interesting and is worthy of the attention of the entire world. Show me what you got, muchacho. I'll be your first audience. We hope that after people watch Coco, they're inspired to be curious about where they came from, be curious about those ancestors that came before them and were the foundation of where they are today. One cannot deny who one is meant to be. It's also a great movie to watch with your whole family, you know, for children and parents and grandparents and even great-grandparents to all get together and watch the film together, I think is a beautiful thing.
I've been so thankful to work with a team who completely from day one has supported and, and, and wanted to put this incredible story on the screen for the whole world to see. I think, I think everybody's um, got something that, that they're going to take away from this movie that's going to affect them personally, no matter where you come from. Never forget how much your family loves you. Show me Pixar. I'm walking like a skeleton. No, skeletons don't walk like that. It's how you walk. No, I don't.